coverage. Start to penetrate and make people come to you. All right? Stay wide. Stay wide on that. All right? So what motivated you to get into coaching? Well, uh, as a three-sport athlete um, in high school, uh, came from a small school uh, just west of here, a pavilion. Um, really enjoyed the competition and uh, uh, certainly uh, went on from there. And, and it was just a gut feeling. I was very good in math and, and loved uh, numbers and that. So uh, being an 18-year-old, not quite sure what I wanted to do, I went into accounting uh, for two years at Canisius. But uh, my gut feeling was uh, I really wanted to uh, not crunch numbers all my career and uh, work in athletics. Why RIT? RIT after you know coaching at the college level as an assistant and uh, just felt RIT was a great fit for me. Um, I, I basically came from a blue collar family um, and I felt RIT in the the type of student athlete and student that, that is here very much career orientated, very focused, uh, very disciplined and they have to be disciplined to be a, a student here at RIT. Uh, it, was a, it was a very good fit for me. It's such a privilege to hand you this commemorative basketball in recognition of your 500th win. It's been mentioned that only about 32 coaches have ever done that in Division Three, And I think uh, 600 would be a good number, too. So let's uh, keep up the good tradition. Congratulations. So when that final buzzer sounded, sealing your 500th win, what went through your head? Well, uh, probably numbness, but uh, we were just happy to get the win. And I don't think truly um, I'll be able to appreciate it until necessarily after the season or maybe some years down the road, to be very honest. Uh, uh, when you're in the season, a, a coach is the next practice, the next game, and, and, and certainly those things uh, uh, come, to, come to mind as well. Patience! Get over here! Get down! Actually, though, I uh, thought of all the players that came through the program, uh, my assistants who have been so supportive and have done a great job uh, through uh, working with our players. And um, the gratifying is, is obviously, uh, and even this year, even though we, we may not be having a banner year, uh, those are the guys that, that did get the win. Um, and it, it's certainly uh, very gratifying. Uh, some of the well-wishers uh, in the last few days of, of former players and, and other colleagues, even rivals that, that have emailed and, and talked to us. So uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll be able to um, maybe enjoy it a little bit later on. Pass and screen opposite. So that's all you got to do. So you've had six uh, NCAA playoff berths uh, that run in 1997 into the Sweet 16. Uh, you've had six Empire 8 championships. When you're finally done with coaching, what do you want your legacy to be? Hopefully uh, people remember that um, we played hard every game, uh, win or lose. Um, we taught values um, of what hard work and uh, good ethics bring to it that and that carries over into, into your uh, lifetime, uh, being a good citizens, family men, husbands, um, uh, fathers, and um, that, uh, um, whether we've won as many championships as others, uh, sometimes is irrelevant. Um, but those other things uh, are basically what we're here for.